Evie gets it with an unpopular choice. Or clone. That sounds worse for you than, uh, you know, I know what you meant, but... Mississippi Setsujin Jiken! Aboard the stern wheeler, SSS, 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 Delta Princess, New Orleans, bound 12 hours out of St. Louis, Sir Charles Foxworth, known, well known, Sloop, along with his man, Sir. I'm gonna shut up now. This is terrible. Just a big wall of text. Why is there a horse tail sticking out of the chimney thing? Oh, write, that, write down Balney in your copybooks, everyone. That's definitely a clue. Oh no. Oh god. I say, Regis, what day is this anyway? Some place called Memphis? You mean, you know, the biggest city in Tennessee? The only city that anyone knows in Tennessee? Uh... Okay. It was just gonna stay there, I guess. I had to press start. That was supposed to be a game demo, but it just wasn't doing anything. What the heck? <laughs> I hate these people. Why do we have to be these people? This suitcase is in my way! Okay, so I can't inspect the suitcase or the table. They just get in the way. I guess there's no evidence in our room, so let's look around. It's one of those kind of games. <laughs> All right. I think Arklon put that there for me. I wish to inspect this bed. <gasps> A key! Absolutely we're keeping this key. Alright, we found ourselves a key. Nope. Can we go around the side? Oh shit, we can. Okay. Let's go this way first. Alright, nothing in this room. Cool room! It's Mr. Foxworth! I mean, I'm Mr. Foxworth. It's Judge Carter! I'll be the judge of that, Mr. Carter. Alright, I guess we'll have to talk to you first. 
I want to inspect you. You and me. We're in. There we go. All right. So I can't look around Mr. Carter's garbage yet. I bet he did it. Cause he won't let me look around. Hello, Daisy. Can we inspect your room? We cannot. Can we talk? Want to talk? Alright, fine. That's two potential murderers. Hi, I'm Daisy! Hi, I'm Daisy! Everybody was Daisy back then, though. That's not blood, that's lice. He had fleas. Except, you know, this body... Okay. Can't really check out the body, apparently. Alright. Well, we're gonna go down. No! There's more rooms down! Ah! Hey, I can do talk now. Why couldn't I do talk before? Maybe I had to discover the body first. So I was just walking around into everybody's rooms for no reason before now? Oh, there's gonna be eight suspects. Tell me about Daisy. Okay. Tell me about Carter. What do you know about the victim? Oh, that's suspicious. You didn't know there was a murder? What have you been doing? Not going into everybody's rooms? On a cruise? That's very suspect. Thanks, very helpful. Alright, we're getting to what I can... I can do things now, so that's nice. Share notes. We haven't taken... Did I not press the right button for that? God damn it. Really? Alright, let me check this room. Wait. <laughs> Alright, so there must be something in here, yes? Surely. <gasps> A small bullet! Okay, I was absolutely pressing A earlier, so I should have been taking notes. Talk. Tell me about Mr. 
Mr. Carter. Oh, so A was canceled before. Oops. I will take that note. Tell me about Daisy. I'll take that note. Why not? We're going to take all the notes. Tell me about Twilla. No need for that note. That note's pointless. Tell me about yourself. I didn't say anything happened, did I? That's even more suspect than the other lady not walking in everybody's rooms. What do you know about this small bullet? What do you know about... No. Is it a, a, a strategy guide? Arrest everyone? Well, after that movie about the train, that it might work out that way. Wow, what? You want me to get you some mineral water? How about you tell me about yourself, Gladys? None of this interests me. This note is not particularly useful, but I'm gonna take it anyway. Tell me about... Carter. Oh, you talk so much. I don't need this note, you're just bash- you're just- Super all over that guy's dick. Tell me, Gladys, about Daisy. Wow, did you just call her poor as fuck? What the hell, man? Wow. You are a total cunt. Oh my god. I'm surprised you're even talking to me. I'll take that note. That could be useful. So tell me about the victim. Oh! How convenient that you all don't know about the victim. Yeah, that's the idea. I'm wondering that too. Okay. Let's go up. We haven't been up yet. I don't think. Oh yeah, we have. I wonder if this key opens this. Oh, cool. to examine it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, take the key off. Take, take it off. Take off the key! Take off the key! Thank you. So, yeah, we found it in the room below the, what I'm guessing is the victim, which we didn't know the name of until just now. Let's examine the key. 
Pick up the key! Pick up the key! Pick it up! Now we know what that's for. We have been up here. Let's talk to Mr. Carter again. You haven't met the bitch. Well, that, that wasn't the bitch. This is the bitch. So, yeah, they're fucking. I think it was her. It was probably Gladys. So, tell me about. Tell me about Twilla. That is not a useful note. Tell me about Henry. Wow, these rich people are all assholes. What do you know about this small key? <laughs> What do you know about this small bullet? Okay, whatever. Oh, there is another way up. We haven't been up here yet. It's probably the captain's quarters or something. No, go back up! Stop it! I highly doubt it was the captain. Tell me about yourself, captain. I don't need that note. Tell me about all of your people. Oh boy! That's a note worth keeping. Wow, I would have punched him in the mouth, Nanashi. Jesus Christ. Right in the mouth. Why, I never, they would have said as they stormed out. And I lost my job anyway. Whatever, I'll take that note. No, I'm not done. I need to talk to you about everyone. Oh, I already talked about that one. Carter. Oh shit! We've got a Nevada connection!
Nobody knows there was a murder. What do you know about the small key? I bet it opens this safe. <laughs> Was she the murder weapon? No, we have a bullet. Unless she can shoot bullets out of her axe. How do I go about getting this guy to let me check out? Can I, like, tell him to come with me? I haven't met Lionel yet. I don't want to do that yet. I can make people follow me, but I can't make them stop following me. I want to just leave him somewhere and come check out his room. I guess it wouldn't be that easy. Who the fuck's Lionel and where are they? Maybe if I take the captain to the body, he'll talk more. That's my theory. I haven't actually talked to you about people, have I? I hate this person. Do you know anything about anyone? Okay, I see. That's how you get rid of people. By talking to other people. Now I can talk to people about the victim, at least. about this murdered guy. All right, we found Lionel. Oh, jeez.
<laughs> well, that sucks. Well, we've gotten everybody's confessions on everything except for the hooker. Let's go talk to the hooker, wherever the fuck the hooker is. Where is the hooker? Probably this side. Not interested in knives to the head. I'll probably go back to the walkthrough after I talk to everybody. I want to figure it out on my own! Oh, I did talk to you about everything. I didn't talk to you about the victim, though. Hmm. Okay, well, I haven't found enough about anything, so... Post the walkthrough again. Let's beat this shit, because I have no idea. What happens if I hit share notes? Oh god, I have to share specific notes with people? I might not have even kept the right note. That's not good. I probably have to catch people in a lie. Like they said something about someone and I have to show them the contradiction. That's not good. That's not good at all. Maybe I can interview the body. Probably some super leaps in, in logic if I were to guess. Stop. You gotta find the right note. I know you're the death head, Carter. Oh well. Okay. Who- who was it? Who was the murderer? I'm not gonna pass notes back and forth about it. I just want to know who actually did it. I'm guessing it was, uh... Hmm. We learned that the mechanic is the... is the son of Cartwright. So, I, I don't think he did it, though. It's probably one of the rich assholes. It's not gonna be the, the clueless southern chick. Let's find out. I think it might have been it might have been the judge or the judge's girlfriend. The hooker, I mean. I I don't think it was the other people. Oh my god, this wall of text. Miss Smallworth. Who the fuck was Miss Smallworth again? Cap cabin 20. Let's go look at Miss Smallworth. Oh, we're on the wrong goddamn side. It was Miss Smallworth. We've used our, our ghost whispering capabilities. To, sn to sn sniff her out. Hey! It's the hooker! 
I was right. I called it. That's what I meant by the girlfriend, the hooker. Because I was sure that her and the judge were fucking. Man, I've got I've got a nose for this. I can't prove it, but I know I knew it was her. I'm gonna I'm gonna accuse her even though I have no proof. It was you? Oh come on! I knew it was the hooker. Well, I I sniffed her out just talking to everybody. I don't need to prove it. That sounds like a lot of work. This game is interesting. I like the idea about a murder mystery. I wish that it was... I would prefer this exact same kind of thing with a point-and-click kind of interface instead of having to walk around. But I, I like the idea behind it. It's very Phoenix Wrighty. Very early Phoenix Wrighty. But Phoenix Wright kind of annoys me in the way it does things sometimes. This probably would too if I was taking it seriously. But I enjoyed it. No, fuck Deja Vu. Deja Vu was shit. That wasn't even really a... Like, I guess it is kind of, like, the, the idea of, of a point-and-click version of this, but they did it so poorly. It was so bad. I don't want things where, like, you have to know to shoot the guy through the glass or you'll die first. That's, like, the first fucking thing you do. That's stupid. I haven't played any of the Nancy Drew or Sherlock games, so maybe those would be what I'd want.